to this course on Six Sigma White Belt. My name is Sandeep Kumar and I have 30 years of experience in quality management and I am myself Six Sigma Black Belt. So what we will do in this short presentation is we will look at three things. Number one, what is Six Sigma? And then we will look at what does white belt means. We will look at various types of belts. And then third thing we will look in this presentation is the course content. What will we learn in Six Sigma white belt course? So with this, let's move on to the next slide and look at what is Six Sigma? What does that do? So the first question is what is Six Sigma and what is its purpose? Six Sigma is an improvement methodology and approach to make improvements. Improvement in whatever you do. So whenever you think of improving your processes, improving things, then Six Sigma could be something which could help you. Six Sigma has two objectives. One is to make customer happier and second is to increase profits. Looking at these two purposes of Six Sigma, at first this might look contradictory. You might think that making customer happy, how would we increase profits? Because you would have to spend money to make customer happy. But the approach here is that Six Sigma makes customer happy and increases profits by reducing waste, making processes efficient, reducing defects. So with these things, customer would be happy because customer gets a quality product and company will increase profits because company doesn't need to deal with rework, rejection, customer unsatisfaction, warranties, claims and other things. So that way company increases profits by not wasting money. And how this is achieved? There is a DMAC methodology. There is a DMADV methodology. So we will be looking at the high level overview of these in this particular course. So with this understanding of Six Sigma, now let's move on to the second question, which is what are these belts? What is white belt? So whenever you talk about Six Sigma, you talk about belts, white belt yellow belt, green belt, what are these belts? Just like martial art, Six Sigma also has different color of belts. These color represent your mastery of this subject. As a newcomer to Six Sigma, you start with white belt. That's your first belt you achieve by having some basic understanding of Six Sigma. Once you have that, then you would want to move up to a yellow belt. Yellow belt will give you more details about Six Sigma approach. With yellow belt, you will be able to do some small improvement projects yourself or you would be able to help a black belt or a green belt project. So that was yellow belt. Then you move on to green belt. In green belt, you use more advanced feature. Here you use statistics to understand the problem, to solve your problems. In green belt, you would be able to do small to medium size of improvement projects. After having green belt, then your next step would be to move to black belt. So once you achieve black belt, you would be able to do a big size, complex, multidiscipline improvement projects. Generally, a black belt does three to four improvement projects a year and saves company a millions of dollar every year by these improvement projects. After completing black belt, your next step would be master black belt. So with this understanding, let's start the journey of learning about Six Sigma by being a white belt and this is the purpose of the course. On next slide, we will be quickly looking at the topics which will be covered in this white belt course. Let's move on to the next slide and look at those. The first thing which we will do in this course is understand Six Sigma. What does Six Sigma means in a simple, plain, layman language? 
So once we looked at that, then we will look at the benefits of Six Sigma. Three approaches which are used for Six Sigma, we will look at that. Then we will look at various philosophies related to Six Sigma implementation. The next step would be to learn about DMAC and DMADV. What are these two terms? When these are used, when you use DMAC approach and when you would use a DMADV approach. And in the last, we will look at different belts. So this course has one quiz, the quiz which you take at the beginning of the course. And the same quiz is repeated at the end of the course as well to show the improvement which you have made. So with this understanding, let's move on to the next lecture and understand Six Sigma. What does that mean? By taking a simple example of aeroplane landing. Music